Hi, now I'm going to show you how to format tables in Excel from SPSS output. And the reason you might want to do this, the reason I use this quite often, is because I'll often have several tables within SPSS, and here you can see SPSS output, but I want to organize them into a single table, say for a manuscript or thesis. And rather than jump back and forth between uh, my manuscript and, and typing in the numbers, um, it's, I find it often easier and certainly more accurate and less prone to mistakes when I uh, use this method. So let me show you how to do it. First, you can see that I've got lots of different tables in SPSS and I want to put them into a single table in Microsoft Excel. And so what I'll do is, um, of course, I can copy and paste one table at a time into uh, Excel, but there's an easier way. I'll go to File, Export, there you see it, okay, and then I'll, you can see I can save the uh, SPS out output in a number of different formats, but I'm going to choose Excel, and then I'm going to simply browse to wherever I want to put this file and give it a name. Um, I'm not going to save it right now because I've already saved it, um, but then I click OK and you can see here, yes, I've already saved it. Um, so once I've got it into Excel, then I just go to Excel and I pull in the information, and here you can see I've got all the information from SPSS output into my Excel file. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to a second, open up a second sheet, and I'll organize the um, table in the way that I want it to appear um, later. Then what I'm going to do is um, I simply am going to cut and paste. And let me show you how to do this. So uh, here we have um, viral load down here. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look for my viral load variable, which I know is right down here. Um, so uh, I'll copy this and then I'll jump over here. And now you see that viral load for my undetectable is actually going sideways rather than up and down. But I can easily fix this by doing a paste special, transpose, boom. And this, of course, will work the same way on the PC as it does on the Mac, and I'm using the Mac version. And so once I've got all of this, uh, all of my numbers in as I want them, then I can go through and, and uh, take out the, you know, uh, take out the lines, uh, format it the way I want it. And when I'm done with that, I simply copy the entire table and then I'll go over and paste it into my manuscript for the final polishing up. So that's really all there is to it.